<clears throat> hey guys, what's up? Uh, just some quick notes on some things that I'm noticing with this particular event. And um, the first one is, on this one, you can't really get too mad at yourself if you miss that platform because half the time I miss it too. It sucks when you do because it's like, I did everything right. How did I miss it? Well, sometimes it just happens. And it's nothing you can do anything about. Uh, next, on this one, <clears throat> um, I'm, I'm usually able to get it with at least 15 cans at this point. I pull a little short there. You'll, you'll see me tip my nose down just briefly. Just long enough to get the fuel. Gosh, I got 11k last time. But this is the one I was really thinking about. Because <clears throat> the worst part about this one is that all of the little doodads are all moving back and forth. And it's impossible to guarantee they'll be in the position you want. Right? Well, actually, if you hit the garage to go into the garage and then immediately exit the garage and start the level, they'll be in a predictable position. And that might be the one deciding factor for whether you find them where you're expecting them to be or not. So give that a try and see if that helps you. Because it didn't help me that time, for sure. And, um, like, sometimes we'll get races like this where the doodads are moving and you have to time it just right. Like, you'll go into the garage and then you'll open the level and you'll count off one second, two second, three seconds, and then you'll enter the level and the doodads will be in the right positions for you to get a good, good time. And it's just trial and error to find the right timing. Um, and then a note on the tractor. <clears throat> the, as far as I can tell, the turbo on the tractor behaves the same way as it does on the truck, which means if you're holding down the go button, it charges up, and if you press the brake, it will release that charge, and you'll have to start over. But if you tap the the accelerator instead you can release the accelerator briefly and it keeps storing up that energy it doesn't reset it as quickly on the truck or the tractor and so what you want to do is find a path that allows you to get the the thing to hit at the right times and you want to just keep hitting the go button you, you don't want to hit the brake if you can avoid it no, that wasn't a very good showing for me on that particular go-through, but hopefully you can learn something from my notes and my ramblings. Have a good night, guys.